In this week's video, I make a Christmas present for my parents using epoxy and my laser. Stay tuned to see how I did it. So my parents are obsessed with islands. They spend time in the summer up in a place called Hessel, Michigan, and they spend time in the winter, a place called Big Pine Key in Florida. So I took these two places, wanted to put them on one map. There's 3,000 miles separating them, so I couldn't do the whole path. So I took the islands from the north and the islands from the south and combined them together to get this piece. All right, so I'm gonna start this project by building a frame. All right, so here's the frame that I came up with. Uh, I just need a little sanding. There's a, there's a couple gaps, but that's trademark of Andy Bird Builds, gaps. What I am gonna do is I'm gonna take some CA glue and I'm gonna run it around this inside edge um, where the um, epoxy is gonna be poured just to seal it up. And just as a safety precaution, because if you've ever, ever poured epoxy before, uh, leaks are the worst. So I'm gonna use some of this uh, home wrap Tyvek tape. Okay, so for the epoxy pour, I'm gonna be using this leftover total boat epoxy I have, um, high performance. I think this is a slow hardener. Uh, it'll work well for this background. Um, I know my last project mixed well, so I'm literally just gonna use all of this and dumping it into a cup. So there's, it's already pre-measured basically. Since this art piece is gonna kind of be two different locations, um, the waters are two different colors. So I figured why not use two different colored epoxies and have them meet in the middle um, so I'll use a darker blue for like the Great Lakes and I'll use more of a Caribbean blue for um, the Florida Keys. I think it'll look pretty cool. So while the epoxy resin is curing, um, we're gonna do some computer work and get the files ready to send over to the laser printer. I'm gonna laser print the island maps, all the pieces. I'm not gonna go over in detail how I'm gonna do it because to be honest with you, I'm gonna kind of stumble through it. There's a lot of people out there already that have put together tutorials on how to get map data. So I'll see you when I'm done. <laughs> All right, so the laser just finished up. What I've seen other people do is they'll score their bottom layer. So if I was gonna put my islands on top of this, I could score the bottom layer and then literally just boop, put it down and glue it down, right? So I don't have that luxury because you're, 
it's not safe to laser epoxy um, just because of the fumes it emits. But this was a trade-off because I wanted this look of the island sitting on top of the water. The way that I thought to do it um, is to take the cutout and use this, set this on the epoxy, and then literally just create a puzzle and lay these pieces back on top, glue them down, you know, glue them down. And then once I'm done, I can just lift this piece off and I should have the correct layout. I really like this size. I think it'll look good on that map. I'm trying to fit basically a seven by 10 area. One thing I don't like though is these burn marks and I'm gonna use uh, some masking tape. All right, after about four hours of struggling to get these files into the laser program, and it was just Illustrator and I was using snazzy maps. I reached out for some help to some friends uh, that's more familiar with this stuff. Finally was able to get the layers properly laid out. The laser has about an hour cut time. So fingers crossed, turns out. Is the last time you will see this piece in my shop hey what's up here we are in florida we made it it's yeah, a couple days after christmas we had a great christmas i hope you did too this is my mom she loves her custom uh art piece of where they spent a lot of time it turned out great do you like it mom i love it thank you love it love it love it awesome that'll wrap up this one thank you so much for watching don't go anywhere though because i've got a lot more videos that you can check out right here and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. So